Hi guys, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and we have the lovely Sarah joining us today for a crafting afternoon. <laughs> Hi everybody! <laughs> okay, we are going to forget that the cameras are here and we are just going to do a little bit of crafting. So please do join us and uh, yeah, just join in in our fun. So, um, <laughs> there will be lots of that. There definitely. will be lots of that, <laughs> absolutely. So, we are going to be uh, playing with the resin. Yeah. yeah. So th this is, um, there's two parts to it. So, this is, this is the combo kit, and you get all sorts of things in it with um, your little blowtorch as well for the bubbles. Um, we do the little bottles good. and we do the big bottles and then we do the kits and what works really nicely is the clay board so this works great with alcohol inks we do lots of different sizes of this stuff and I've got some samples here actually put them under the camera and see if we can get the camera to get that look at that glossy finish it's like glass, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really deep shine, isn't it? It is. And it brings that colour yeah. out so it nicely. It makes it pop, because that's one without any, isn't that's, it? That's that's it, yeah. Really that's just deep. a matte one. And these as well. And that's the metallic. That, doesn't that look amazing? It looks like one of those like, rocks where you see all the quartz oh, inside. Oh, yes. I know, I know. So anyway, we're going to do something like that. We have no idea what, <laughs> how it's going to come out like, but we're just going to have a little play. So, what, did you decide what size? Are you going I'm going to go, go for the big um, yeah. square. Yeah, okay. I always think when you're doing something new, to stick with things you know. So I like square, but I'm going to just push myself slightly and have a bigger square. <laughs> Because <laughs> you do love working. I do love working small, small. Yeah. 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 Um, we've got lots of different sort of products here that we can use alongside. Um, remembering that we need to stamp, if we are stamping onto the clay board, to use the archival. Um, and that's the, the reason for that is because the VersaFine clay won't dry on it because it's a non porous surface. So the archival will dry. I've tried this stuff on it, which is great. And then foiling, because when you put the resin over the top of any kind of foil, it just looks incredible. The other thing, the Distress Glaze. This stuff's great, I love it, um, by Tim Holtz. Um, when we're doing something like this, um, we stamp down and we want to put the alcohol inks around it, but we want to keep this area um, nice and uh, clear. So I just rub a little bit of that over the top. It doesn't protect it completely, it doesn't mask it off completely, but it helps. So that's what I do. Um, try it, you know. If you've got something else that you feel work, tell us. <laughs> yeah. By all means, share. That's what we're here for today, is just to talk and share about experiencing clay board and resin. Resin. <laughs> 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 Let's, uh, I know that we're going to run out of space so yeah. quickly here. Okay, yeah. Probably not. Just make yeah, brushes. yeah. It's oh. a lot of stencil That's brushes. That's a lot of stencil brushes. Yeah. I have three. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. One of each size. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, really... I'm not very good at keeping the same colour on a brush. No, I'm not. I certainly haven't got. Um, one c a colour for each brush, yeah. but I do tend to stick to groups. Yes, yeah, so colour. greens on one. And, yeah, greens and blues yeah. or whatever. Yeah, maybe you keep the yellow brush. Yellows and oranges. I probably don't do as much stencil brush use as you do. Yeah. Okay, we've got some blocks there. Um, yeah. In fact, I'll bring them this side. We are running out of space. <laughs> and we've got a blower. <laughs> Um, or you can use the air dryer and um, this is just a babyliss air dryer and it's great for alcohol inks as as that is there's a little bit more softer control over that one right. that kind of just right okay just blows it um yeah but anyway i am going to use this i think because i like that one 
I like that one. So I'm going to first of all stamp up in the archival. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just going to pop that down just in the corner there. Step done. So you pick the mushroom. Uh, so like a spotty mushroom. Yeah. It, so. it is. It, it sticks quite hard. <laughs> Don't panic. <laughs> it does. It takes a bit of a pull. Okay. Oh there yeah. It hasn't and it, don't and you get such a crisp de detail? Yeah. Oh, some of the fine particles of the clay they use to because people paint on this. Yeah. Yeah. This is classed as a multimedia surface, mm -hmm. alcohol inks, markers, collage, acrylics, graphite, much more. Oh. So you can do lots with it. I'm going to make sure that this is completely dry okay. because when you put this distress glaze over, if you don't let it dry, it, it will I sort of like you'll end up with a grey, bit of a grey mess going on. So. Well, I might have put mine next to yours yeah. for multi drying. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Okay, let's hope that that's nice and dry. And then this, do you, have you used this? Um, not for this purpose. But used it for other things? Yes, it's on good, top isn't it? of Distress Oxide. Because <laughs> I'd seen a video on using it over the top of oxides to make them ping. If you yes. layer all your oxides, yep. putting that on top makes yep. all the layers it, I don't know what it it seems to really bring out the it's colour. Funny stuff in, it's almost like Vaseline. It is like Vaseline. That's <laughs> how I describe it. Actually, it is like Vaseline. <laughs> it's, oh, it's um, it's quite therapeutic. Rubbing this on. Nice sensory elements. <laughs> but you know, once you um. Once you put the heat gun on it, over it, though, yeah. it, it goes. Kind of melts it away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, right, well, Done. we've got some great colours here. Choose whatever you want. <laughs> you can put it straight on or you can put it on your... Dabber. Yeah. Um, yeah, do a lot of dabbing it on there. I've not done a lot of blowing it around. <laughs> Hence my that's that technical that's the, Yeah, <laughs> or wafting it. <laughs> Dotted it oh, right. on. I'm just doing just play, whatever. Going to play like yeah, that. just just doing whatever. Really and then things, and then let's just. I'm gonna put a bit of pink in. I think. But no, it did make me. It did make me smile a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'm just using a little bit of blending solution now just to break up that block of colour, which that's what obviously the blending solution does. Oh, look at that, so you can wipe off. Yeah, where it's gone where over. It's gone over. Fabulous. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it goes over it. It, you know, we, we, do, we do worry about things, don't we? We worry, I think, a bit too much. We do, but yeah. I, do like a, I do like a black and white image against a colour background. Yeah, there is something about it, isn't there? Yeah. And I love alcohol inks anyway, because they, you can just keep on working with them, and if you don't like it, wipe it off yeah and you just do it again it's just magical it isn't is. it and then you get those all those unexpected um color mixes happening well not completely unexpected but you know what i mean yeah it's great isn't it yeah it's not, well it's warmed up the blue it also, has doesn't it think. it is I haven't told anybody the colours that we're using, oh, no, we but it doesn't yet. really matter. We've kind of just gone in. I can't in. tell you either. No, I can put them back. <laughs> right. 
So how easy was that though, really? Yeah. <laughs> it was, wasn't Sometimes, it? Sometimes though, it's the newness of something that makes you a bit scared. It, it, totally. And totally. actually, you've just got to get... You've just got, you've to, got to go to with it. it. That, I mean that's dry now, that's ready to do something with, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of foiling on this. I'm just doing So I am going to use the Ziggy Glue Pen. I could have shiny spots. Yeah, you could. I'll have to put my glasses on for that. See so them. I might just put a little bit of... Go around the edge and maybe a little bit in the middle. Thank you. So I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to put a little bit of gilding flakes actually. The gilding flakes do look lovely under the resin. So I'm going to just give that a dry. Sort of tacky now. It's ready. I you can get a bit carried away with these things. Do you want to dry? Yeah, I'll dry. You dry. I'm going to show um, one or two. Which level do you go? One, I think. Yeah. I'm just going to show it under the camera mm -hmm. that one because that was one that I did the other day. Um, there was a video actually put out there. Um, but you didn't get a close-up of it, so you couldn't quite see what it I was just like. think you could frame that, I really do. Isn't it lovely? Yes. And what I did here was actually put a stencil over the top ah. and put mica. That's, Isn't it nice? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's foiling. That's mica. So you can do loads of different things. Then put your resin, but see all that mica yeah. there? Yeah. And I, I think, you know, when you get to something like that, you can tell you that you were in a happy play, place. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was really, um, yeah, really pleased with that. Yeah, yeah. I never really like what I do. Yeah, and I'll come back to it another time, I'll think, how did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, Tot so totally. it's good to have a bit of space to step away and come back to it absolutely because you've lost those but i wanted it to do this and i meant it to do this yeah but actually if you look at it as just a piece of artwork rather than how you wanted it to come out mm. like and that's the thing you know when you're inspired by somebody yeah. and you want it to be like that yeah. then you're disappointed because it's not but yeah, actually absolutely. if you look at it yeah it's brilliant yeah. isn't yeah. it yeah 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 as a recovering perfectionist, I just go with the flow with things <laughs> yeah. rather than having an end <laughs> point in my um, head. Yeah, totally get that. Totally. Right, so just a bit of foil. I never shine there. You see that on the camera. <laughs> give it um, maybe from the uh, from the side. Okay, yeah. Um, give it a bit more of a put a bit of oomph in it. That's what you're saying. Just give it a little bit more. Look, so you can see it from. Yeah, can you see. Yeah, you can see the dots. I know. How funny. It's fine. No, I think that's right nice. Now. And once we put the resin on, <laughs> it'll just be, whoa. <laughs> now, do you want to do a, a larger one? Yeah. Well, should we do, should should we we do, do another a, one? Let's do a square, but with a, yeah, with yeah, a blowy thing. Not with anymore. the blowy right. thing. So we'll put those to the side. We'll resin them in a minute. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got a whole array of colours. Now, what what were you happy using? Do you want to use the blower? Do you want to use this one? I'll, um, I'll use the puffer. Th I'll give this a go. Okay. I do own one. I haven't opened it, so I might as well learn. Learn. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> In public. 
So all all I'll say is just put loads of the uh, blending solution on. Oh, first think, or, or as part of the throwing Do you know what? Do, I don't think there's any rule to it. I mean, alcohol inks, you've just got to go yeah. with the flow. Yeah. And <laughs> Literally. It, yeah. Yeah. The more alcohol blending solution, the better the result. That's all I can say. <laughs> so um, the opposite of gin and tonic, really. <laughs> <laughs> The blending solution is the gin. <laughs> the colour yeah, the tonic. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm just gonna <laughs> not that I'm a big gin and tonic fan, but look I've really gone through it with that purple. You are you've done mm. well. So I am going to put blending solution on now over the top. I mean, this will change completely, and it does over and over again, and that's what I love about it, because yeah. you can look at it and go, I absolutely don't like that. <laughs> and then you put another colour on, more blending solution, and it changes completely. I <laughs> <laughs> that is vibrant. It is. <laughs> or vibrant violets. What's <laughs> it called? Okay, I'm going to put some more blending solution here and here. It's violet splendor. It's yeah, splendid for it's it's splendid. splendid. <laughs> it's splendid. Right. Now I'm now I'm wanting to change it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a bit of blue in I think. In fact, no what I'm gonna do put a bit of blue on here. It's like it's like when you're doing a card, isn't it? <clears throat> we we give it very quickly. Yes. Um, yeah. And actually, if you keep on working with it, it's surprising how much it changes and how much the bits of detail to something yeah. really yeah. does bring mm -hmm. a card out, doesn't it? I think we have high expectations, you know, we expect to be able to do something brilliantly the first time yeah. and that's not how... We have got metallics. <gasps> yes, we should add some metallics. There's a gold and metallic which is quite nice. Now, the metallics, they're, you have to use them a few times to understand them but I've, what I've found... Okay, disclaimer, this is my first time, it doesn't work. <laughs> What I found is use them with a colour. Oh right, at the same time. Yeah. To kind of go. It, it it's weird how the gold then sits on top of the colour. Right. So then when you spread when you kind of puff it or blow it, it has like it gets a vein then. Ah. Whereas if you put the metallics straight on, yeah. It it it's quite flat. That's what I found. Um, okay. I'm going to put some yellow because I don't want to go any browner. You know, it, it, I, it could all go horribly wrong. And oh, I apologise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> apologise now. <laughs> I'm wanting more gold. Yeah, I want some more gold. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the gold. You've got you? the gold. I've got the gold. Thanks. And a bit of gold. A bit of good shape. kind of goes into bits. It's like the gold, like it's connected. It does, yes, and that's what I love about it. It's yeah. like gives you a, a gold thread. Yeah. I really like it there, wasn't it? But other people might call them mud to have created a beautiful chocolate brown <laughs> with, gold, with gold edges, <laughs> silver linings. I've got that much alcohol in on this now. It's going to weigh so heavy by the time I've finished. <laughs> but I'm beginning to like it now. 
So I think, you know, you can put your um, foils on this, you can put your gilding flakes, you can put your glitter. Liquid pearls are another really nice one yeah. underneath. Um, and using your stencils as well. Yeah, I really like that effect you've had in the making. Yeah, the in fact I might just do a bit of that. Maybe we'll go with something like that. And so we're going to use some verse Have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, it's gorgeous. That blue, that iridescent it's blue. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, so you don't actually need to put the verse of mark on if if it's, it's still, still wet. wet look at that colour through there. That is just amazing. I think it'll be very easy to go over the top with this mica powder and a stencil, can't <laughs> Pink is stunning. I'm just randomly putting it on there because I can't remember where I put <laughs> it. Right. I'm thinking I'm going to stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we've got two done there. That's fab. Is that enough for mixing up some resin? Yeah. Especially the size we've worked on. <laughs> I mean, we can mix any any amount of resin that we want, right? Really. Yeah. Let's hold it up to the camera so people can just see actually what is going on. <laughs> <laughs> What's just, all these little dots we're getting so excited about? I know. And, and now the fun. <laughs> so an equal part of each okay. and then we give it a stir. So I'm just going to half and half. I am guesstimating but I don't know how much to pour into it. Do you think we should Anymore, we'll just mix a bit more, don't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Right, let's just put those out of the way before I knock them over, and then we give this a stir for two minutes. Two minutes, what should we talk about? Two oh. minutes, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. We're going on holiday this year, and then I take said stuff. That's good, that's a time. Um, so I'm not sure that I know on there as well. Right, yeah. Jump up. Okay. I don't know how far we're going to get with this, but let's put the lids on that one. Okay. 
So we've just collected bottle tops, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, so you just need to raise it off, as I say, because um, it could go over the edge. And we've got some teaspoons here. Equal heights down in case I... Where can my lot mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, we would kind of just... It levels itself, doesn't it? It does. Kev, um, when he was doing it for the um, extravaganza thing, yeah, yeah, he just levelled it out to the edge with a teaspoon. Oh, he did, yes, yeah. yeah. So, see so how you get on with that. Okay. I don't want to do the big one first in case it's not quite enough in colour. So I'm just pushing it up to the edge. I think we might need to mix a bit more. Right? Yeah, yeah, I think we will. Plenty on that one, but just not quite enough on that. Oops, try mix it a bit more. There's a bit more in there if you want to do a bit. How are you doing? I don't know how. I don't know how I'm doing. Well, actually, might be all right, you know. I've so not done that one of mine yet. Ah. Oh. You pour that on yours. No, if you stick it on, I don't think there's enough on there yet. The edge. Thank you. I might just do this, you know. No, oh, good. So, see if I. If I was wearing gloves, I'd have got them stuck to it by now, and then I'd be feeling un <laughs> trying to unpeel them from the uh, yeah. the resin, and then I'd be getting it all over me. And I think it would be more of a bother. I'm actually just not wearing them. It'd work well with the um, coasters, this, wouldn't yeah, it? it would. Yeah. But Ooh. what a nice little gift, though. I think you know. Um, because you can Sounds pop it weird. onto a card, the little ones, onto yeah. a card, and then people, it's a gift, isn't it? Yeah. It's not just a card, it's a little gift that someone can actually frame up and hang on the wall. Yeah. Okay. So now there's like lots of little bubbles in it. Yeah. And this is where this thing. Mm. I was scared of this to I'm start with. I'm not surprised, with. it's a bit... Well, it's but okay. then, I thought it's exactly the same as what you do your creme brulee. Yes. You know what you have in the kitchen? Yeah, exactly I've never made thing. a creme brulee, have you? Yes. <laughs> um, besides the point, Kev actually bought me one years and years oh, ago. Oh, really? I did use it on something, but it wasn't a creme brulee. But that's what they do use, well, isn't yeah, it? Well, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to put the flame on there. Okay. And we literally just waft, waft it over the top. And you see how it's clear. magic. It's acting like it's a glass. It just, it just, it just it. goes. Just goes. Yeah. It just goes clear. How cool is that? Mm. That's it. Oh, I'm about to set fire to the table. Great, isn't it? <laughs> Just, it's so fast. It just makes me smile. I'm just oh, sitting here, standing here with the biggest smile <laughs> on my face. What it oh. does. Oh. <laughs> Did you set fire to the okay. paper then? <laughs> Isn't it amazing oh. though? You just look. <laughs> Isn't you just it? Keep looking. It's like glass. Yeah. 
these are going to be stunning tomorrow morning. Right. <laughs> what time is it? Is it time two. for the pub yet? Yeah. 